Hi, my name is Wanda Locke and I am the curator of the Lake Country Art Gallery. Over the next few weeks and months, I'm going to bring you a series of videos which are going to be visits into artist studios and have a quick look at what they're up to um, in their studio space during this time of social isolation. This will also give you an opportunity just to have a, a look at see what artists are up to in their studio spaces, what their studio spaces look like, which is always interesting, and how different um, mediums and processes and practices dictate what kind of space is used in, a, in an artist studio. So let's get started. This is In the Studio Curatorial Notes Part 1. And today we're going to go all the way back to January 2017 to the first exhibition that I curated for the Lake Country Art Gallery. This exhibition was called Big Fish and it involved artists Lee Claremont, Asher Klassen, Joanne Gervais, Shauna Odlifson, Amber Powell, and Leanne McLaren. And it is today we are going to go and visit Leanne in her studio. But first, before we go and check in on Leanne, I'm just going to send, give you a little bit of um, some images from Big Fish just to refresh your memory. The exhibition was about the narrative and all the artists and the artwork in the exhibition had a very strong narrative content. Leanne's work was a series of drawings, if you remember, and paintings. There was a couple of paintings as well too. But it was a series of large drawings made with charcoal and pastel and graphite on paper, unframed, and just attached to the wall. These were a series of figurative slight, and narrative works that worked well with the other artists in the exhibition. Hi, it's Leanne McLaren. I live in Richmond, BC. Um, in a historical fishing village called Finn Slough. Uh, we have two cabins here that are both on stilts. Um, my studio is one of those cabins. It's about 10 feet away from the main cabin. Uh, we are on a tidal inlet, so the tide does come in every day. Um, the size of my work is not as large as it used to be about 10 years ago, and that is helped by the size of the studio space, but it's filled with all the things I love. I have lots of books. I have a shrine for my mum. My work board is surrounded by photos. And I have, of course, a great music selection. Uh, that's the doorway that leads down by a little wooden walkway to the Fraser River. I have a collection of toys that keep me company in here. A lovely, strange collection. And of course, more books. Um, the work that I've been doing in between my um, pet portraits for clients and my own work is a series called the Dark Light series. It starts off, they're all ink on paper. It starts off with a gestural wash of black ink on paper. Um, I then meditate and wait and see if there's anything that I see in the ink and allow my subconscious to whatever comes in my head, I try not to edit. And so whatever arises, I just paint, which I'm finding very satisfying, not second guessing or doubting and just trusting the process. Uh, the largest size is about 16 by 20. And the smallest ones that I'm doing are about nine by 10. Um, I have some more for you here on the chair. I've designed a metal structure to uh, exhibit them on. I'm hoping to do freestanding structure that goes across the gallery floor, um, sort of in the shape of a skeleton. Um, these are all 9 by 10 pen and ink drawings here. I have about 100 of them so far. Um, I'm hoping to do uh, approximately 250 for a final exhibit. Um, I'm also working with a uh, soundscape artist, Dorothy Dietrich, who's working on a soundscape, and we're hoping to exhibit these pieces together. And that's about it for today. Thank you for joining me in my studio. Great.
Thank you, Leanne. And that's it. That's the first of In the Studio Curatorial Notes. Thank you for watching, and I will have another video clip up shortly. Bye.